I'm I'm from Korea of Communication. Um, my name is uh, Abdurrahman Hussain. I'm still in Beijing ICT. Nice to meet you. Okay. My name is Salman. Okay. I'm from Korea of Economics. Uh, my name is Fatima. I'm first year student. My name is Mohammed Mohamed. Uh, I am from Syria. I'm studying here business administration. Uh, I'm Fatima Al Talib. I'm from South Africa in the Korea of IRK Quran and Sunnah. Yeah, I'm Asma Afir. I'm from Algeria, from Biomedical Science. Dressing time, but still, is, is, I think it has pros and cons. Yeah, uh, because like, you know, in Islam, this is wrong. You have something like private. The women are a little bit private from the man. You have different uh, habits, different stuff. Even your body actually is going to be different. Even your body actually is going to be different. My understanding on girlfriend boyfriend relationship okay to know somebody I mean like if you know somebody but there is boundaries and limit like obviously you cannot have a very intimate relationship before marriage my opinion is I don't like this kind of relationship and Islam uh, of course it's haram and it's prohibited because there is no contract there is your family and my the girl family and the boy family don't know anything about this relationship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created both males and females and he created us for the purpose of worshipping him. And so when we go out in the world, when a, when a female goes out of her home in the world, she's there for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship him and to contribute to society. And when a male goes out uh, of his home, he's there to for the same purpose, uh, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to contribute to society. So whatever interactions is obligated upon them is to do for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything uh, beyond that um, puts, puts both parties, the males and the females, in a very gray area where uh, a lot of things can lead to wrong, which we all know is very clearly stated in the Quran, uh, zina is not permitted for Muslims. So anything that leads to that, I believe, is wrong. However, we are supposed to coexist because Allah created both of us. He didn't only create females in one planet and males in another planet. Yeah. And Allah also placed marriage, which is an institution, a beautiful institution. And He has placed within that affection and, and mercy. And there's a lot of blessing in that. And so I think that should always be our purpose and our aim when we're going out into the world. Oh, you know. Why, you know? <laughs> because it's not my problem, actually. It's not your problem. Yeah. Okay. So my opinion doesn't matter to him. Yeah, of course. I hate to see that because Shaitan, of course, will be between them. I think the problem with a lot of Muslims is that we are so quick to judge people and not understand them and um, I think we push them away. If we're going to have this image that, oh, I'm, you know, I'm better than you or I think I understand how a lot of people who come here with the right intentions end up in those circles where they interact with boys. I think there's been a culture created within this university itself, especially amongst international students, um, where they work together on, on, on projects that are really good and valuable projects but then they end up crossing lines maybe perhaps both without even realizing it because I think it's within our fitrah to get along with each other I think Allah has placed a natural attraction between us okay. and so there are, uh, there are lines being crossed and it is it is a scary thought because it's very easy for new students at, um, to get trapped in that circle where I think both girls and guys are, especially I feel the, the female has to conduct herself in such a manner, okay. uh, she has to control a lot within her. No, I never have been in a relationship. No, I don't. Uh, never. No, never. I didn't. Uh, well, I, I don't think about it now because I have to study now and after I have fun, I finish my study, I will plan to get married. Okay. To be frank, not really. Right now, I'm still single. No, I have never been in a relationship. I think the most important thing to really open your eyes and, and see the bigger picture here. One day you're going to be married, um, inshallah, if Allah will.